Christy with Creations by Christy and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cool tag. It's this really cool leathery texture that you can create using the sticky back canvas and some masks. And today I'm going to use the, the Claudine Helmuth Studio uh, sticky back canvas and some of Tim Holtz masks and I love his masks. Um, I'm also going to use the Zing embossing powder. So to start, I let's set all this stuff aside. I cut a um, just my own little tag out of the sticky back canvas, and I just take another uh, tag size and then just cut it and pop a hole with my crocodile and just tag off the, the top two little ears. So I'm going to set that on a piece of paper so I can grab all my embossing powder. And you pull off the back of the paper to reveal the sticky part. You're going to work on the sticky part here. And you want to put down the masks. These are the mini masks. This one is the compass. And these are real easy to clean when you're all done. You just rinse them off in water. So this one, if you can see it, it's the, uh, the little compass. Now I'm gonna put this one kind of on an angle right up here. You wanna make sure it's adhered pretty well onto the sticky part. And then I'm going to go to my flourishes. I think these are called florets. Yeah, it's this package here. And of these, I'm going to go with the long swirly one. I like that that one over here in the corner. I'm going to make it a little squiggly up on top. You see Indy's been around because a couple of her little hairs are on there. Okay. So once I'm sure that these are adhered very well, you don't want any embossing powder sneaking underneath these. So you kind of just give them a good tap down. Okay, so then you're going to cover this entire tag with embossing powder. You don't want to miss any spots. So. Looks good. Okay, so then you can just move this aside, pour it back into your container. I love embossing powder, it lasts forever. And then you're going to peel up all these plastic pieces. Don't want to heat emboss with the plastic because the plastic will melt. The sticky part from the embossing, like the sticky back canvas, that won't do anything, but the masks will melt. So take those off, and then you can just rinse them off in the in the uh, sink to get all the extra embossing powder off. Okay, so there's my image with the uh, the white parts showing. So now we're gonna heat emboss it. I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in here a little bit. There, it's starting to melt. I'm 
and you just melt this whole thing. And it kind of gets like little tiny cracks, which I like. Gives more of a weathered leather look. And then when you put your next color on, it kind of fills in those little areas. I really like it. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with the black. The first color I used was the metallic finish in red, and now I'm going to use the opaque finish in black. And so now I'm just going to go over the entire tag in black, and it's going to fill in all of those little cracks. and the spots that are still sticky. I'm going to pour that back into my container. Set that aside. And then I'm going to heat and emboss this. Turn this up so you can see it a little bit more. It really gives a neat look. And then there's my finished tag. So, and as you can see, let me try and get a little bit closer here inside all of these little tiny cracks it filled in with the black so it's not just a flat pink surface it's got these little fissure cracks of the black and it really gives it a nice texture so this is a real simple technique you can do and on the back it's still white it's the white flexible you can sew with this you can stamp the back, you can write on it, you can run this through your printer. Um, give it a try. Here's my finished tag, the first one. Put a little tassel on it. Um, so yeah, give, give this a try, it's a lot of fun.